Hey everybody, welcome to the Apple Ninja. Today we're going to go over should you encrypt your Mac? The answer is absolutely yes. Apple's built-in file vault helps to prevent unauthorized access to the information on your startup disk. One of the best features of file vaulting your Mac is if you lose your Mac account password, you can use the file vault key or your Apple ID to reset it. Other things to note, File Vault 2 is available on macOS Lion and later. It uses XTS AES 128 encryption with a 256 bit key, which is extremely secure. When File Vault is enabled, your Mac always requires that you log in with your Mac user account password. If you lose both your account password and your file vault recovery key you won't be able to log into your mac or access the data on your startup disk so make sure you store the file vault recovery key in a safe place not on your mac so let's go protect our macs and turn on file vault we're going to open up system preferences command spacebar to initiate spotlight and do system preferences return we're going to select security and privacy we're going to select the file vault tab and then we're going to click the lock to unlock enter your password we're going to click turn on file vault it's going to ask me for my password and then it's going to give me two options you can either set it up with your iCloud account or you can create a recovery key I'm going to choose to create a recovery key I'm going to click continue I'm going to take a screenshot of that recovery key make sure you keep that off your Mac and move it to a safe place maybe take a picture of it with your phone I'm going to click continue it's encrypting the drive encryption has finished now there might be reasons for you to turn off file vault let's say you forget or lose your recovery key it's as easy as just clicking the turn off file vault turn off encryption it's off and then I just go turn it on again choose to create another recovery key and now I've got a new key that I can store in a safe place you might be prompted with a message that you need to enable other users on the system so if you have more than one user on the system if you're prompted you're gonna have to enter the password for each user that you want to enable to be able to unlock this Mac. If you like this video, definitely throw it a thumbs up. That helps out the channel a bunch. I can't thank you guys enough. You guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next video.